Hey guys, this is Tishi Shad's guide to all of the obtainable in-game fire-type Pokemon in both Black 2 and White 2. In this guide, you will find out the stats of all the catchable fire-types and their evolutions, and also the advantages and disadvantages of the fire-typing. The fire-type has traditionally low HP, but an amazing array of attacks and stats that benefit them, getting the fire-type the nickname of the Glass Cannon Type, strong but fragile. So first we're going to look at the typing bonuses or resistances, which offensively are super effective hits against steel, ice, bug and grass type Pokemon, and not very effective hits against rock, dragon, water and fire type Pokemon. As the defending Pokemon, fire types are weak against ground, rock and water type moves, but have resistance to bug, fire and grass type moves. Keep this in mind as you battle as it could save you a trip to the Pokemon Centre. Onto the first fire type Pokemon that you can obtain in the game and that is Tepig. Tepig is the fire starter of the Univer region and in black 2 and white 2 is given to you by Bianca the researcher who plays the role of a guide threat your adventure in the game. Like all starter Pokemon, Tepig has a 3 stage evolution family and has good base stats as well as a great move pool. Pignite is the evolution of Tepig and is a fire fighting hybrid that gives your fire starter the opportunity to delay fighting type moves which are super effective against rock and can help settle that weakness of the fire type. This makes your Tepig even better. Finally there is Embol, the mega fire pig Pokemon and the final evolution of Tepig. Embol with a large base stats and move pool can make an invaluable member of your team. Then onto Magby, the live coal Pokemon, one of the first catchable fire type Pokemon you can encounter in Black 2. However, it is a version exclusive Pokemon and is therefore unavailable in White 2. Magby has a 3 stage evolution line and is one of the baby Pokemon. Magby evolves into a Magmar, the Spitfire Pokemon, with a much improved base stat can become a real asset to your adventure if you did choose Tepig as your starter. Magmar is the only one in the chain that is the original 151 Pokemon. Magmortar is the final evolution of the Magmar line and is obtained by trading a Magmar holding a Magmarizer, a really good Pokemon. Magby is found in the Verbank complex, so if you want to get yourself one of these and are on Black 2, make sure to head there. Next we have Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon, available on both White 2 and Black 2, and is also going to be a really good Pokemon for any team lacking a fire type as long as you wait until after level 35 to evolve it to maximise the effectiveness of its move ball. Again this Pokemon can be found in the Verbeck complex, a great place very early on in the game to get some Pokemon that will become invaluable to your team. Growlithe evolves into an Arcanine via the use of a Firestone, remember to do so after learning Flamethrower, and may use this much adored Pokemon which can deal massive damage with its high attack and special attack stats. Next we have Eevee, the genetic mashup of a Pokemon, affectionately titled the Evolution Pokemon. This is included as even though it isn't a fire type, using the fire stone you can get a Flareon, which is quite easy and is the only way to get a Flareon without trading. Flareon, though a well liked Pokemon, actually has what I'd say was a bad move pool in relation to its stats, so unless you are a lover, I wouldn't advise using one of your team. Even can be found in Castelia Park, and also a gift Eevee can be obtained from Amanita after entering the Hall of Fame. Next up we have Daramaka, the Zen Charm Pokemon, first introduced in Generation 5. This sleepy little ball of fire is one of the Pokemon you can obtain from N in the Desert Reservoir and can also be captured on Route 4. Darmanison is the evolution of Daramaka and has a great move pool with good stats, making another handy addition to any party that is lacking some strengths against Ice, Grass, Steel or Bug type Pokemon. N's Darmanison can also be found in the Desert Resort. Then on to Pansir, the fire type of the three elemental monkeys which can be found in both Pinwheel Forest and Lost Lawn Forest, and is the only non-generation 1 Pokemon to evolve using a Firestone and is also the only non-starter Pokemon to have the Blaze ability. Evolving into a Simiseer leaves us with a larger monkey, however, though there are one or two good moves in its move pool, I'd say overall this Pokemon isn't a great choice unless maybe looking for a 4 fire attack Pokemon due to the Blaze ability. Now Larvesta, which isn't capturable itself, but can be bred from Volcarona, which can be. Larvesta is the latest evolving Pokemon by set level, evolving at level 59 and is one of the only two Pokemon that have the type of Bug slash Fire alongside its evolution. If you're looking for Bug or Fire moves, Volcarona would be a great addition to your party, but don't expect too much else from this Pokemon. Volcarona can be found in Relic Castle. Based off of a candle with a flickering blue flame, Litwick is a ghost slash fire type, and it along with its two evolutions are the only Pokemon with that typing. Available in both Celestial Tower and Strange House, this Pokemon I'd highly recommend as in its final evolution can be one of the best fire types in Pokemon. Litwick evolves into a Lampent at level 41 which is the only non-generation 2 Pokemon to evolve using the Dusk Stone. And upon using the Evolution Stone, you turn your Lampent into Chandelure, a Pokemon with an amazing moveset and great stats, which can cause serious damage to pretty much any team in the game. Then we have Nummel, a Fire and Ground mixer, which is another unique typing, shared only with its evolution. Nummel is a version exclusive to White 2. Camerupt and Nummel can both be found in Rugged Mountain and have a decent move pool with decent stats, but I don't think extraordinary.
Vulpix, the fire Pokemon, is usually seen in parallel with Growlithe and can be found in the Abundant Shrine in the Hidden Grotto with its hidden ability. Vulpix uses a Fire Stone to evolve into Nartales, a much loved Pokemon. However, its stats do not complement its move pool. This plus the fact Nartales cannot land at any HMs means I would recommend not capturing once using your main party. The anti to Pokemon Heatmore can be found in Twist Mountain with a higher encounter rate in the summer. Heatmore has decent base stats and is found at high level, so if lacking a fire type Pokemon at this point in the game, may be a good choice. The first fire legendary available in Black 2 and White 2 is Heatran and is a fire steel type Pokemon and can be found in Reversal Mountain after obtaining the Magma Stone, obtainable from Route 18. Heatran has the amazing move Magma Storm which also does extra damage to 2 to 5 turns. Finally we have Reshiram which is the mascot legendary version exclusive to White 2 and is a member of the Teo Trio with Zekram and Qram. This dragon fire giant has amazing stats with a blisteringly good move pool and can make this game a lot easier. On screen are all the sprites in their correct locations on the Unova map. Hope this has been useful and that you get a great fire type on your team. This has been TC Shadow RL. If you've liked this video, please subscribe to me. And for the bio layout, I'd like to thank PD Winnell. Um, I have permission to use this. This is my best friend's layout. PD Winnell in real life is my best friend. And yeah, he has been so good to me. So go subscribe to him too. That'd be great. If you've liked this video, leave a like. And we'll see you next time.